There's a startup out there. Uh, it's called Fetcher. Uh, they're working with Delta. That's that's their most prominent deal. Delta has actually been talking about this startup quite a lot over the last six months or so. Got my hands on a, a sales document that they use, and it describes kind of what they're doing, and it, it it really gives you a vision for how buying a ticket will work. This kind of confusing feeling where you don't know whether you're getting a good deal today or tomorrow. Maybe if you wait, it'll be a better deal. Maybe you hold off. They want to make it actually way more complicated. Uh, they, you know, want to add more fair classes, lots of shifting around, and 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 you know, as as Delta has talked about, you know, AI pricing, they've talked about it as this great thing because from an investor point of view, right, it makes sense. Investors love being able to raise incremental revenue, and they also love AI right now. Uh, but but consumers, those are not necessarily things that they want, and and you're seeing a backlash going on right now. Where you've had a bunch of uh, lawmakers and so on uh, essentially write letters complaining to Delta, also. American Airlines saying we're never going to price with AI or we're not going to price now. I think most people who watch the industry assume that everyone will do this because it is it's going to be a powerful tool uh, to es essentially to raise additional revenue, see if you'll pay, hey, maybe you'll pay $20 more for that ticket, maybe $40 more. Uh, and th that was actually the example that Delta gave during an investor day.